hello everyone welcome to wp super cache setting tutorial and so in this video tutorial i'm going to install and configure and properly set up wp super cache plugin okay i'm just going to copy this plugin name and from this plugin menu i'm going to click on add new menu and this plugin is featured here and so i don't need to search just click on install now button okay the plugin has been installed now it's time to activate great from this setting link we can properly set up this wp super cache plugin we can go through this settings menu just here wp super cache okay it's a pretty simple task to configure this plugin first of all from this easy tab we will turn this caching plugin on just clicking on this caching on radio button and press this update status button the plugin is now working and it's recording the caches of my site so it's on now it's time to look after the advanced tab from this advanced tab we will active and deactive some other settings just like here use mod redirect to serve cache files and also has use php to serve cache files okay and another one is legacy page caching these three settings are doing the both these three settings do the same work but i recommend to use mod redirects because it is a apache server module it's faster to provide cache files because php uses mass cpu than mod redirect so if you are in shared hosting environment i mean you if your site is hosted in a shared hosting environment then you should use mod redirect because it is faster then from this miscellaneous section we will check this on compress space they serve more quickly to visitors if you check this then your pages will be compressed and it will save your bandwidth from your server and the visitor will also get your page loaded so much quicker this seems pretty interesting and another thing is do not cache page for known users sometimes if you have a very popular blog and the visitors may come back again and again and uh, they may miss the latest updates so just check this to avoid cache for the known users and another one is do not cache page with get parameters if your site is an e-commerce site then you just check this on because sometimes when your site process the payments it may send data through the get variable so do not cache pages with get parameters if you are running any e-commerce site using easy digital download or woocommerce then check this on and make users make known users anonymous and you can check this okay and the advanced one enable dynamic caching it's not a simple task and for not for beginners you have to know php better to make any of your template dynamic with this so i do not recommend this for the beginners and mobile device support of course this plugin should support for mobile device okay and from the bottom cache location it's a default cache location for wp super cache plugin this one and if you can handle you can create any custom directory where the cache files will be saved but if you can't so do not try it okay so i'm going to hit update status button when the file updated and it created several mod redirect rules because i choose mod redirects method to serve cache for my website that's why it created several rules in the dot stxs files the dot stxs file is located in the in this directory actually okay that's why and these rules are not added yet i have to add these rules in the dot stxs file just clicking this button update mod redirect rules i'm going to click this button and update the file now this code block is a bit greener and the file has been updated this notification mod redirect rules updated okay and timing section keep these things default and you can 
change yourself according to your need and keep these things default not necessary so i'm going to check this cdn tab if you are running a big blog or high traffic website then you can purchase any premium cdn and as a configure this setting according to the website it is not a difficult task okay and i'm going to finish this tutorial here because these tabs are not necessary okay just you can check the cached pages here and you can delete the cache when you need and delete expires so these are not very difficult task okay and i'm going to go to the dashboard again and you will see a button called delete cache when you need to update your website or need to remove or clear the cache just you will hit this button delete cache and it will flush all the caches from your site okay and at the same time go to the install plugins from here you can deactivate this plugin at any time and go to the set you can and you can go to this settings panel again okay and uh, hope you loved this video and uh, the tutorial worked for you if you are confused with any point just let me know through the youtube comment box below and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you very much